Master Data Management is not a new technology. It's a new spin on, on technologies that have been around for probably 20, 25 years. Basically, it's just saying, let's go get you know all the key pieces of data, put them in one place, which is really more of an enterprise data warehouse. But Master Data Management then says, it's almost a map or sort of a, a you know, here's what each of those data fields are, here's how you can find them, here's what they mean, here's where they came from. It is a critical component of, of any data warehouse implementation that is feeding business analytics that people actually care about, but master data management is a component of the technology that's being integrated into both operational and analytical systems to enable a high degree of trust in the underlying data that's being fed into those reports. Very, very simple stuff that people can't answer today would be, you know, as simple as it should be, right? You know, how much are we buying from this supplier? What is all the business that we're doing with this customer? You know, those would be things that right now you'd have to go to multiple systems to get, but would be naturally organized, you know, simple things to grab if we had a master data management system in place. What I'm hearing from industry as, as I talk about convergence, a year ago, it's just a year ago, I would go into a company um, and they would say, yes, we have a group working on service-oriented architecture, we have a group working on MDM, and another group over here thinking about our data warehouse solution. And the three groups weren't talking. Within a year now, I hear people beginning to discuss these problems in, in conjunction with each other and seeing that they have a lot of potential overlap in some of the issues that they're dealing with. So there's a lot more collaboration occurring uh, between the three. If we've got a centralized data repository and then we have master data management, this sort of map on top of it, that fits in extremely well to the whole service-oriented architecture with different applications talking to it that way. So if there's new applications that come in to leverage this supply chain-wide data access, which I know there will be, because there's just tons of opportunity when that data is there. And to me, you know, why I'm excited about this and why I'm working on this is, I think if we can catalyze this successfully, it's going to completely change the way that supply chain works today. If you're looking at bringing on new partners or new collaborations, that's happening at a more and more rapid pace as organizations become more fragmented in what they deliver to the customer. So you may have 10 organizations collaborating and bringing a product to market or a service to market. And so there's, there's more need there. Being able to do those one-offs and scale those one-offs is probably the main ROI. And being able to manage links is, is critical. Being able to look at not just the, the point in time, but the, the qualification of the links in relationship to a long-term customer lifetime analysis gives you an, an incredible uh, view into how you can, uh, you can sell things today and, and manage your development of the kinds of products that you're going to develop and sell over 5, 10, 1,500 year period. The visibility across the chain, access to data across the chain, we can start doing the supply chain wide optimization that people talk about but in reality doesn't happen very often. So hot, you know, the hot areas there are things like supply chain risk commodity prices and you know foreign sourcing and long lead times and short product life cycles have made risk probably the hottest topic or one of the hottest topics in supply chain. There's some new thinking that's kind of required around master data management. The Teradata master data management uh, solution it looks extremely promising. It's uh, placed very close to the site where where we believe the, the Teradata customers are going to get the, the biggest bang for the buck. I think Teradata is positioned very well. I mean, the, one of the things I really like is that the um, MDM is in database. And I can tell you that you know, some of the, the real leaders that have looked really hard are choosing Teradata. The exciting thing to facilitate that is a lot of the industry consultants at Teradata are really knowledgeable. They're much better suited to be able to understand, communicate, solve those types of problems. 